think she's a bit like JJ Moyes because there's always a family rivalry, secrets. It is completely compelling. I mean, from the first page, you get immediately drawn in. The way she structures the narrative, so you have Lila and then you have the 1980s sections, is that you get to the end of one section and you just want to read the next chapter to get to the next one. And so you can never put it, put it down, it's really compelling. Every time you switch from one voice to the next, you were released a tiny bit more information and it just really helped you to learn a little bit more and to make another guess about what was going to happen next. And I think it appeals to that thing that everyone's felt at some point and maybe still does feel that they just want to escape and get away from everything. I shouldn't really confess it, but I started in bed on a Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. I didn't get up till after lunch. <laughs> I just that it is totally compelling. The Shadow Year reminds me of The Hand That First Held Mine by Maggie Farrell. Um, I think the way the author deals with relationships and marriage and just all the emotion that she puts into it. You felt like you were there the whole time. I still, it still keeps coming back to me. I keep picturing it now. I'm just walking down the road and then I'm in the Peak District again. So I think it's how the, the glorious summer then starts to disintegrate that makes the book so fascinating and the author just describes it so um, amazingly and it, it, it creeps up on you that things are slowly starting to go wrong just as the autumn's coming in and things are starting to get colder. It's exactly the kind of book you hope you've either packed yourself or you find in your holiday cottage and you disappear for the rest of the day because it is just so compelling. I could, I could recommend it to, to anyone really. The story is multi-generational so I think women of all ages could enjoy it. It's totally fulfilling. It's got an old-fashioned beginning, a middle and an end. When you put it down you've got so much left to think about. I just think it is almost the perfect holiday read.